If you want to move your YouTube channel to another Google account, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'll help you navigate through this process whether you're using a Google account or a brand account. Let's get started. Here I am on YouTube. To begin, click on your channel icon in the top right-hand corner. Make sure you're on the correct account first. If you are, go back to the main menu and then click on YouTube Studio. Next, click on Settings in the bottom left-hand corner, then click on Permissions. Now, look carefully at this pane. If it looks like this, you're using a Google account. That means there are a few extra steps to move the account, so keep watching. If your permissions pane looks like this, specifically with this sentence here, then you're using a brand account, so skip to the next chapter. If your permissions pane looks like this, where you have two separate buttons, skip to the chapter after next. If you're still here, that means your permissions pane looks like this and you're using a Google account. Click on Close, then click on your channel icon in the top right. Click on your channel again, then click on your channel icon once more and click on Settings. You need to add a brand account. On this page, you can click on Create a Channel. You're about to create a brand account. Notice the fine print here that your channel name will be linked to a brand account. Name your channel however you like, then update your handle. Once you're ready, click Create Channel. Next, click on your channel icon again. You should be in the brand account now. Switch your account back to the Google account. Then, return to your settings by clicking on the channel icon and clicking Settings. Now that you've created the brand account to transfer your YouTube account to, click on Advanced Settings and then click Move Channel to a brand account. This is a sensitive operation, so you'll probably be asked to log in again. Once you log in, you can choose where to move this account. Next to the account you just created, there should be a Replace button. Click that button. Here, you're confirming that you want to remove everything associated with the brand account. That should be fine because you just created it. Click on Delete Channel. When you move the channel here, you'll retain your subscribers, videos, playlists, channel name, icon and URL. However, you'll lose some things like your demographic history and permissions. Specifically, if you've given someone else permissions to your channel, You'll need to edit that after the fact. Once you're ready, click Move Channel. Now, continue by clicking on the channel icon in the top right once again, and this time, make sure that you're on the brand account. This part can get a little confusing, so take your time and be careful. You just moved your old channel and handle to become a brand account, which means the brand is now represented by this specific account. Double check and confirm that you're in the correct account before proceeding. Once you're sure, go back to your channel icon and click on YouTube Studio. You'll likely see the welcome screen appear again. If that happens, simply click Continue to exit it. After that, navigate to the Settings menu and click on Permissions once again. Now, if your Permissions pane looks like this, where you see two different buttons, then you need to click on the Manage Permissions button at the top. After that, click on Manage Permissions one more time to proceed. Next, click the Add User icon in the top right corner. A new window will appear, prompting you to enter the email address of the new account that will be controlling the channel. Carefully type in the correct email address and then under the Choose a Role section, make sure to select Owner. Once you've done that, click Invite. The email address you entered will receive an invitation to become an owner of the account. Once the invitation is accepted, they will officially become a co-owner of the channel. If your goal is to become the sole primary owner of the YouTube channel, you'll need to take one more step. Click on Manage Permissions once again. Then, where it currently says Owner, click on Primary Owner. Before finalizing this, Double check and make absolutely sure that you're assigning this role to the correct account. This is important because the primary owner has full control and the ability to remove all other owners. Once you're confident everything is correct, click Transfer to proceed. However, to officially become the primary owner, you must first be listed as an owner for more than seven days. 
That means after initiating the transfer, you'll need to wait a full week before you can assign yourself as the primary owner of the channel again. Be patient during this time, and once the seven days have passed, you can finalize the process and officially take full control of the channel. If you're managing a YouTube channel and looking to streamline your workflow, you've got to check out TubeBuddy. It's the ultimate tool for creators, helping you optimize your videos, grow your audience, and save time with powerful features like keyword research, bulk processing, and more. Whether you're changing channel ownership or just leveling up your content, TubeBuddy is a must-have. Ready to take your YouTube game to the next level? Click the link in the description to try TubeBuddy today and see why it's trusted by top creators worldwide.